Hey everybody, JD Sutar, AFC Northerners, Ravens guy. So here to talk about the trade with Ty Montgomery for a seventh round pick in 2020. So I know that everybody probably knows and saw the game, uh, the dropped, uh, well the fumbled rather uh, uh, kickoff return um, where he was in the end zone, didn't take a knee, decided to run forward and Aaron Rodgers got really pissed off at him and decided that uh, he didn't want him on the team anymore. So they got rid of a running back and we picked one up for the seventh, uh, for a seventh round trade deal uh, in 2020. Trade wise, uh, talent wise, I think that it was a smart pickup. I mean, really, truly for a seventh rounder, it'd be dumb not to. It's a, it's good. I think it also couldn't, you, it can't hurt us to have a, another like star running back. I love Alex Collins, but I think that Ty Montgomery might just help light a fire underneath of them because now he's going to be hungry. At least I hope. We'll see what Morningweg does with that. But there are two, there are two lingering questions for me. One is... Is he is he telling the truth on whether or not he ran that not because of uh, a previous play where he was unhappy with uh, that previous play that was the rumor basically was that he uh, didn't wasn't uh, caught out for a play and then he was put in the next play to uh, take the kickoff return and then instead of taking the knee he ran it forward because he was trying to make him play for himself you know, kind of like you know selfishness putting yourself before the team. Um, it's just all anybody that's saying that is an anonymous source, and I'm not trying to de like wholeheartedly defend the guy. I, I don't know if I'm team Ty, but um, right now I think that uh, the people that have spoken out have spoken out uh, in his favor, spoken out with their own names, have spoken out in his favor. So we'll see, we'll see if that winds up being a thing. The two big things for me are this one, uh, why did he drop? Why did he fumble that? I want to know why because we've got enough people that fumble things on this team. Uh, so why did he fumble it? And uh, two is what is he doing to fix those mistakes that caused him to fumble? And also how is he going to improve his image in our eyes? Because I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I, I'm not super hyped about the way we're starting to look even for next season. Uh, I always think way, way, way far in ahead. It's just. Just to, I know DGBG gets on me. It's like it's too early to talk about playoffs or whatever have you. But I think that depending on like whenever I look at the details of his contract and stuff like that, I just want to see more people in our roster that don't drop things and can catch balls and can make those holes happen. Because I feel like we have a very lackluster uh Offense. I just haven't been really electrified by it. Like, there's been times where it's shown really good, but it's been really inconsistent. That's what it is. It's just inconsistent. So let's see how that looks. Other than that, I mean, for the seventh round uh, in 2020, great deal. Take it. Take it all day long. Um, how do you guys feel? Do you do you like the trade? Do you not like the trade? Do you think that? Um, it uh, it's not going to go well for us. I don't know. What do you think? And Packers fans, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the trade. I know that I talked to a few of you guys earlier, and um, seems like you're kind of sorry to see him go. Like I, I, one fan said that he just didn't believe that uh, Packers really used him effectively or correctly. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, I um, hope you're having a great day. Uh, if anything else pops up, any other news, I'll hop back on. In the meantime, um, Fuck the Steelers. Yeah. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.